Hey everybody, welcome back to another satisfactory gameplay video. Um, I'm back! <laughs> uh, glad to be back. Um, uh oh. Oh no, I think we're, I think we're the wrong person again. Yeah, yeah we are. Okay, uh, just put this stuff in here I suppose. And uh, I guess I'll give this a, a try. A try again. All right, that's more like it. We're back in our own bodies, with all of our crap in hand, our chainsaw, our parachute on our back. Which someone told me right-click disengages. Nope, that doesn't work. Let me try this again. Holding right-click. Let me check the controls here. Nope. Okay. Well, uh, that's that, I guess. So let's head back to our factory. We've got our assembly line started. We've got we've got our assembly line started. We've got our small factory over here, um, just working to produce stuff. I have a couple of things that I want to do to just I have a couple of things I want to do here to just fix things, um, just kind of tidy up what's happening here um i'm thinking i actually do want to make a um an assembler for for what's it called um which one is it for reinforced plates did i do that already because i yeah oh i i guess i did do it already or sorry yeah this the modular frames otherwise it's like semi-automatic I'm not necessarily working it the way it should be going and there is one thing I think I should do um, I'm gonna expand this right here and we're just gonna have our biomass production facility so this guy said to use zoop I don't know okay oops Let's go down like this Okay, yeah, that does make things easier. Um, so boom, right there. Two comments I got and received that were both kind of giving me helpful suggestions. I'm not sure I understand what zoop mode is other than maybe like using it like a brush. Or just stretching things out, I suppose. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, very helpful, actually. Alright, cool. Um, and this will be, like, another hub area, I suppose. And then we'll build off in this direction. Ah, shit, I keep doing that. Oops. <laughs> oh, darn it. I hope everyone's doing well. I'm very excited to play this. I haven't played in a hot minute. Um, I The last thing I did was uh, yesterday, Sunday, I made a best of video for the channel. Um, and now I've kind of always wanted to make a best of video. Um, just compilations in general have always kind of struck a chord with me because I just like the simplicity of it and just kind of going back and I don't know, reliving those smaller moments is just, it's just nice to do every once in a while. Um, so let's go ahead and build this foundation here. Go ahead and build like five out like this. Or uh, we'll make like a little five by five maybe. Bang. All right, there we go. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Oh, hell yes. This is so much better. Zoop build. This is where it's at, man. And then we could just do this. Have it go all the way down. Oh my goodness, dude. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. We're, we're, we're learning. Every time I play this game, I learn something new. Alright. Um, I'm, like, sick and tired of having to make my own biomass. So we're just gonna... 
for the sake of uh, our mental healths, we'll have this go out into a constructor. Maybe off like this. Oh, I need reinforced plate. Oh my god, we're doing it again. <clears throat> the very thing I need, I don't have. Classic. Oh yeah, and I have, um, I guess a little update for you guys. I've been watching Let's Game It Out. I haven't watched his Satisfactory series, but um, I will say that man has a knack for breaking games. It is honestly quite incredible, the things that he does in pretty much every single video. Um, I'm ex extremely impressed. Um, <clears throat> but one thing I wanted to do in the spirit of breaking this game, um, last time I found out that monsters can step onto, um, onto whatchamacallits, onto jump pads. So my idea was, oh, I'm missing concrete too, jeez. And what my idea was that, actually, hang on, that reminds me. I saw, so, okay, 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 ha, 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 all right, all right. I'm going to pitch this idea to you guys. And even though we're burning our rotors for this, I think it's worth it. So I, I was watching the jump pad video where I was building jump pads, and very briefly, I scrolled it across the wall, and I didn't know that it could be put onto walls. Like, that's so awesome, first of all. Second of all, can I build the foundation? I can't. All right, hang on, hang on. Let me not get too ahead of myself, but um, I'm, I'm thinking maybe you guys can already, maybe you guys can already tell what I'm, what I'm about to do here. All right, and then we just put all of our biomass in here because it doesn't matter. We just need fuel. And now we're cooking up biofuel without having to to really care for the time being. Um, <clears throat> we'll head back to the other part of the facility, just gather some basic resources, and then I will show you guys. <laughs> the title of this video has probably already given it away to what I plan to do here, but um, still, nonetheless, I would like to see it in action. So let's, uh, let's gather our materials. I love cable. Wait, pause. Uh, I love gathering resources from my, uh, automatic machines. Ha ha. He he he. Okay. <clears throat> I'll finally pick that up. I don't need this wire right now, I don't think. I'll just take a smaller stack just to be safe. Let's try and gather some more biofuel while we can. Um, I still need to take this offline. I mean, it's kind of doing its own thing, so it's not so bad, but I did want to take it offline. Alright, biofuel. We'll destroy this. But let me show you guys what I want to do. This will be the... I, I, I'm, I'm curious if I should make it an attraction at Do Harm Inc. Or if this should just be its own separate thing. I'm thinking I'm going to make it an attraction. This is, this is probably going to take some time to, to do... But um, yeah, I I'm gonna I'm gonna set this up, and I'll I'll this is this is my test. Okay, we're testing some things out in this one. So let's do this. Shoot. All right, yeah, build through the trees. That's what I like to see. All right, I have to. I guess I have to go to the base of the tree to cut it. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, no, this is this is gonna be a small room. So let's do this. And then we'll put the walls up. I want to know what happens when I do this. Trying not to give it away, but I should probably build this maybe a little bit higher here. <coughs> All right, check this out, guys. Jump pad. 
upside down jump pad. Ah, oh, damn it. Not enough space. Oh, but good thing that just sits in the air. That's good to know. Yes! Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Okay. <clears throat> I really only want, like, a single biomass burner, but I don't even want it inside here. That's the thing. It has to be on the outside. Okay, we'll put half of our biofuel in this. And connect. <coughs> Alright, tell me what this looks like. What? No! No! No, really? Aw, oh, man. I mean, I get it because I have to touch this in order to activate it, but... Ah, oh, that stinks. I thought this was going to be way better than just hitting the ceiling. Um, okay then. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay, if that's the case, then, um, then I guess this will be the room. Give me one second, and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Okay, are you starting to see the vision? Because I sure am. I'm starting to see the vision. Yes. Oh, wait! Oh, this is perfect! This is perfect, that was so much better! <gasps> Oh my god, yes! Yes, 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 okay. Yes, this is perfect, this is perfect. All we need now is our first test subject, and we'll be good. Let's chop down these damn trees. Get this crap out of here. I hate seeing trees in Do Harm Incorporated, because we're the evil conglomerate superpower, okay? We don't need, to, we don't need plant life. We don't need wildlife, we don't need any of this, okay? What we need is satisfaction from our very own devices. So let's find our first ever test subject and see how this does. Yes! Oh my god, yes! This way, this way! This way! Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Oh my god, this has to work. Come on, come on. Oh my god, the f***ing generator! I forgot! Can he, can he... Uh, I don't think he can make it through. <laughs> We're alive! <laughs> We're alive! We're alive! Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Over here, my friend, over here! Step onto one of these pads, if you will. If you can, if you think you're brave enough to try. Yes! 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 You have fallen for it, you fool! You absolute buffoon, you have fallen for the jump pad torture room. Uh-oh. Oh, he's on the ceiling, are you serious? It just spawned him on the ceiling? No. No, all my hard work? It was all for nothing? No, no, come on, no. What? Are you serious? Where did he go? Did he fall? Oh, he's right there. Ah, oh, okay. I think maybe he needs more clearance. So that's what we'll do. This has to work. I love this. The jump pad torture room must be a do harm incorporated mainstay. Without the jump pad torture room, do harm incorporated is nothing. It's just harm. But we're not doing anything, so... Yeah, we, we gotta make sure this works. I refuse to let this one go. This is my magnum opus right here. Yes. Okay. All right, let's try and corral him back in. Hopefully we don't die in the process. Let's see, where did he go? 
Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. Hey, man. Those jump pads make you sick. Because there's more where that came from. Alright, come on. He's waiting for me to touch the ground. There he goes. Alright, now we go in. And that's the timer for the episode. But we're not done yet. We're going into overtime on this episode. Oh, dear God. Oh, we're going to be cutting it a little sharp here. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. All right, there he is. He's about to get real mad because he can't reach us. All right, buddy. All right. All right. I hear you. Don't go anywhere. All right. I have to make sure I have this, like, up and ready. Ouch. All right. You dope. Shit. Ah. Is it connected? Yes. Okay. Come on. Hit the pads. Hit the pads. Hit the fing pads. Please. <laughs> now this needs to work. I've had this idea in my mind for so long. I have to let it go. Otherwise. Yes. Yes. And then he'll reset and he'll just keep doing that. And then he'll hit the other one. <laughs> yes. Yes. You fool. Oh. <laughs> you fool. You know nothing of my true power. A man with brains. I am the most dangerous game. Yes, please. Oh shit. Uh-oh. Oops. What? Offline? No! That's okay. That's okay. We, we've, we've got these. It's worth it. It's worth it. It's totally worth it. It is so worth it to overclock this room. I'm not afraid to overclock this room. Alright, we'll place another power pole. Ah, oh, shit. Oops. Oh my god. Get to your designated jump pad and leave me alone. The jump pad torture room has been installed. Wonderful. And now I'll never have to really go in here uh, unless... I mean, I need to really fill this thing up with, uh, with jump pads. But in the meantime, we'll turn this off. I don't know how long this guy's gonna be here. Um, hopefully infinitely. That would be amazing. <clears throat> but yeah, this is satisfying. I had this idea in my head for so long. I'm really... I was hoping that the two jump pads would interact with each other so that it would just be like... Just back to back and you'd reach like terminal velocity and go like really fast, but... Um, I mean, that could be the case. I'd probably just need to do some more testing, but... Um, I'm, I'm more interested in working with the trucks at the moment and the coal power. Um, unlocking that, of course. So, um, with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys for the next one. Bye!